Hey guys, welcome back. With this new video we will go through a Nova Compute deployment. You will see a couple of issues during the execution that can show you some additional troubleshoot tricks. First of all, we need to create the new VM that will be used as compute node. Since we are not going to load our compute with real traffic, let's configure it with a very minimum resources, 4 CPUs and 4 gig of RAM. Now it's time to add the new compute in Ironic. If you want more details on this step, please take a look to the session 2 video. Before going ahead let me save on the clipboard the MAC address of the new VM that will be used to configure the Ironic node port used for PXE booting. Let's create the Ironic node. As we've done during the initial environment preparation, we need now to profile the new node as compute. SSH password and user are already set as end variables. Using the saved MAC address, let me now create the port. Good. The new Ironic node is now created. We need to configure the boot images, this is something that can be done manually setting the properties directly in the node, but since I'm lazy, I'll leave OpenStack utils to do it for me. And now it's time to add our new compute. I already customized the specific NIC templates for my compute. You can watch the session 3 part 2 video to know how to do it. Perfect. Deployment started. Just to let you know, this deployment will fail because I've intentionally inserted an error in the compute NIC template. I will use this failure to show you a troubleshoot session. Let's take a look to the node console. Okay, I can log in. As you can see, there's a problem in the network configurations. The vhost interface is created, but it seems that something gone wrong because no IP information are set. Looking the logs, we can see that connectivity issues are raised. In this situation the overcloud deployment will fail per timeout. We already talked about the OS net config process on our previous sessions. Grepping the process inside the logs we can easily find out that the missing net configuration depends by an error during the OS net config execution. Unfortunately, even checking the JSON containing the network infos doesn't help a lot in this case. Let's try to relaunch the OS net config manually and see if we can figure out what is wrong. Get it? It seems that name parameter is expected somewhere in the template and I missed. Let's check the YAML. Here it is. I put device instead of name. This is clearly a wrong cut and paste. Error like this can really make you nut, but using the approach I showed you, a lot of time can be saved. Good. Now, as I told you, the overcloud deployment will fail for timeout. Unfortunately the default timeout is set to 4 hours, very long wait. You can change this value using a dash t in the deploy command line, or changing the stack action timeout in the heat config. Just one recommendation, do not change it in large deployment, because it can be risky. In my case, I just use the quick and dirty way, break it and restart the heat engine. Even this approach is not recommended in real deployment, because it can leave heat in a wrong state, and it could be a nightmare remediate the environment. Okay. Let's now remove the node. This could not be required, but I prefer to redeploy the node from scratch to avoid any strange behaviors. Perfect. The node is gone. One thing that has to be considered that any time you launch a stack update all the steps will be executed. In this case we just removed one node, the same when you need to scale down the infrastructure, so the next steps will be applied to the rest of the nodes doing basically nothing. Awesome. Now it's time to redeploy our node after the correction we applied to the template.
Oops. This was not planned. It seems an error during the Red Hat registration. Let me check what is exactly the problem. Oh yes, pool not found. Probably the subscription ID I have used for registration is expired. No problem, I can use another one. Okay. After change of subscription information, that should be something you already know how to do it, otherwise please, take a look to the previous sessions, we can relaunch the deployment, hope this time with no issues. Fantastic. Everything looks fine. Checking now the overcloud hypervisor. Fantastic. Everything looks fine. Checking now the overcloud hypervisor list we can finally see the compute deployed. Thank you so much guys and see you on the next session. Deploy of a new compute node in DPDK fashion.